Lola the Lollipop Fairy Once upon a time, in a circus big top, lived a fairy family, the sisters Lollipop. Every day at six o'clock, come rain or shine or snow, fairies came from far and wide to see their famous show. Lola was the one in charge and Linda lifted weights. Lulu juggled lollipops and sometimes spinning plates. Their act had been the same for years and their tent was worn and old. But every night they did their best and all the seats were sold. Till one morning Lola woke she yawned and rubbed her eyes. She looked outside and had a shock. What a bad surprise. Next door, where the grass had been, the plants and trees and flowers, there stood a brand new theme park with rides and slides and towers. The park became the place to go where fairies met to play and no one came to Lola's show. She sighed as if to say, the rides are so exciting, we just cannot compete. Lulu said, let's face it friends, I think we might be beat. So we'll just make our show better, Lola boldly cried. We'll do our best, so if we fail, at least we know we tried. Let's think of something super big, a spectacular creation. A show to make the fairies talk will be the new sensation. In a flash, it came to Lola, a plan to make them swoon. Lola, the fairy cannonball would fly up to the moon. So the fairies built a cannon that was just the perfect size to fire fearless Lola from the circus to the skies. They banged and bashed and clanged and clashed until the job was done. The work was hard, the hours were long, but they'd never had such fun. The day for launching Lola came around really fast. Linda hollered, three, two, one, and with a deafening blast, Lola shot up into space as the fairies waved and cheered. And Lola thought, what a lovely place I'm glad I volunteered. And when Lola finally landed, she cried, Oh my goodness golly, I thought the moon was made of cheese, but it's a great big orange lolly. It certainly was the sweetest place Lola had ever seen, with lollipops of every kind and mountains of whipped cream. The air was sweet as strawberries and the sky was pink and clear. Lola flew back down to earth. She had a new idea. Her cannon show had been a blast, but this plan was the ace. They'd make their fairy fortunes firing fairies into space. And so the sisters got to work. They never seemed to stop. Soon the moon trips made enough to buy a new big top. With a brand new sparkly cannon, glitter and lights aglow, very soon the stage was set for their amazing circus show. It was thrilling and exciting, a full house every night. The fairies saved the circus, 
thanks to Lola's daring flight. So Lola, Linda and Lulu made the perfect team. By working hard and not giving up, they lived their fairy dream.